Oh shit, it's recording. I made me go. I got blood on my t-shirt, so I got my ears pierced. The paper chase is ink. Get it.
bandanas. Yeah. Um, and I made like little beanie hats with bandanas that I attached on to the laces. I sell them on ASOS. <laughs> on ASOS Marketplace a time ago. So is that where it started for you? Yeah, that's where it started. I never took it seriously. It was just like, this is a thing that I'm capable of doing, so I might as well do it. And then friends started to think, oh, this is sick. Like, could you make me a jumper like this? And blah, blah, blah. And then, then I got a store, and then I got a Facebook, and then I got a career. <laughs> <laughs> and that was four years ago. Yeah, so you've done a lot really in four years. I've done a fuckload. Yeah. But it's only like in the last year or so that I've gone, shit, now this is my life now. Like, I don't want to work for anybody but myself. And I want to be rich. Yeah. So it's gone sick. So you're on a mission mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. at the moment you've got you've done loads of cool stuff, you've yeah. had loads of cool people and influential people wearing your clothes. Mm -hmm. um, you've done a line for TLC. Yeah, inspired by inspired by rather, sorry. No, it's okay. Fill me in, man. Fill me in a bit more on how all of that was basically happened, how it how it blossomed even more so after your cocoon and your butterfly. It's my cocoon. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to like pinpoint it all because none of it has been planned. Yeah. Um, I've obviously, when you get to like one point, you're like, oh, it'd be sick if I could do this. And then you do this and then you just kind of go like that. But I've never sat down and gone, I'm going to do all these things and I want to go here and la la la. It's just happened. And when I go, I should do this, then I just do it. Um, I don't know. How did it? Oh, I know what happened. Okay, so I did my first ever carnival collection, so I always do collections in the summertime now, so like festivals and things, mm -hmm. um, and I did like, I got the idea in my head to do this, like a rework of the string vest, mm -hmm. and then I remember doing it, sampling it, taking pictures, sending it to my best friend, and she was like, sick, and then literally like two weeks later, the work, work, work video came out, was it that one, the one where she had the Tommy Hilfiger dress, yeah. Rihanna, yeah. and that's when I knew like, this was going to be sick. Yeah. And that's where it began and then I actually did a video for it with um IMDB and Lake will start dancing around Brixton and shit. Yeah. Which was sick and then I just got loads of people to share it that I knew like musicians and musicians. Yeah. Like producers and DJs and stuff and then they made some money. <laughs> so these cool people that you already were fretted. Yeah, it was just kind of I've never been one of those people to go like Hey, you're really cool and you have this profile, like, can you help me get where I need to go? But it just so happened that some of those people were people I knew because of my partner. Yeah. And I actually had built like some form of relationship with them where I didn't feel like I was begging it. Because I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't, you don't just do styling and fashion, you do hosting? Yeah, I have two radio shows. Two radio shows? Yeah, both online. And what? Um, what? Who do you move? The first one is with, I'm really bad at plugging shit, can you tell? So I'll start again. So I have two radio shows, one's on Big <laughs> Radio, <laughs> with my co-host Josie Campbell, and that's called The Sunday Girls, and that's every other Sunday, so this Sunday, shit, this Sunday, and then the sun, not the Sunday after, the Sunday after that, I waffle. And then the next one is The Mimi Gold Show mm -hmm. on NCS, <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's every first Sunday of the month, 12 till 2, and it is my favourite thing in the world. I love it so much. And what do you do on your show? Whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> I love it. If I want to have guests and talk for two hours, I'll do that. If I want to just like play a full Pharrell album, which I nearly did last time I had a show, because it was international, all things to do with Pharrell Day, which I've decided is going to be a thing on the 28th of April. Yeah. I believe. Um, oh, you just made up your own national yeah, day? Yeah, yeah. I feel so, like he deserves a day. Yeah, he does. He's contributed so many, so much to like weird people like me. I made us feel at home, so I felt like he should have a day, so I gave it to him. And that's what he did. Big up for real. Bop, 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 bop. Tweet me back. <laughs> <laughs> and what's to come from me, God? Uh, whatever I want. <laughs> that's the answer to every question. Um, yeah, more clothes, definitely bigger and broader, maybe collabs with people, not necessarily fashion brands, just like whatever sort of comes my way. Um, I don't know, some things I can't tell you yeah. yet, until I'm sure exactly where I want to go with it. You won't be the first to know, but you'll know at some point. <laughs> no exclusives. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I've got some collection coming which is all like colourful spandex or like sexy yeah. 
I noticed it's like some of the spandex and stuff was like 80s inspired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mickey Instagram. Gold. That's nice. it. Got my own name, M E M E Gold. Yeah. And there's some nice videos of me doing some shit and some spandex. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Who have you worked with so far? Mm, all these accidental people that I've worked yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so probably start with obviously IMDb. That was like a thing that we were doing for a bit together. How do you know B? Manchester. <laughs> Growing up? Like, no, or... I'm like, I've only been there 10 years. I'm a Londoner. Um, oh, where in London are you from then? Wembley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Wembley, but I kind of. Was that more London or Manny? Manchester. No. It's where your heart is. Manchester B, baby. <laughs> yeah, Manchester's where my heart is for sure. Um, but yeah, I just knew her because um, I knew Sleazy through my fella mm. and, and his friends and then we met and I was like, she's got cool energy and we just like worked really well together. Um, and then... You've done that outfit for Lean Down? Was that your outfit? Yeah. Yeah. That was mine. Yeah. And in the Give A Fuck video that just came out the other day. Yeah. And, and Conjuring and... Well, style. If I didn't dress, I did hair and makeup. Okay. For those like previous videos. Okay, yeah, so you do hair and makeup too. I had to. <laughs> I can't. Do you know what I mean? When yeah, I do photo shoots of my shit, yeah. I can't afford to get to someone in and or get someone who's going to do it for free, and I have to tell them what's in my head. Yeah. So easy. I just did it myself. Yeah. It's so easy. I'm not a professional, but I'll give it a good bash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I thought I saw you doing hair in the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Braiding up, yeah. One stop shop. <laughs> That's a good look. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't call myself a stylist because I feel like a part of that is like disrespectful to people who Actually work, you know what I mean, work really hard at it and know what they're doing and have a clear vision with it. I'm just like, yeah, I like this outfit. This is what I would wear, so you can wear it. Okay, That's essentially okay, what yeah. I do. Um, but if you want to call me a stylist and pay me for it, so yeah. I'm not bothered. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty you prefer to call yourself obviously a designer because that's what you do. Even that, I'm just kind of like, I'm a creative person. Oh, so you just creative. don't want to box yourself Yeah, together. so when, that sounds so like, no, <laughs> but, not just, but, but do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's certain processes you go through to be able to call yourself a specific label. Yeah. And there's a I lot of I think you're going through that though. process, though. You're yeah. organically going through yeah, that myself, process. Yeah, myself, but I didn't like... Plan for it to yeah. be that way. Everything's just happening. Well, it's all happening. It's happening mm -hmm. quite fast as well. I know. So, obviously, faster, please. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you cried. Let me get. Uh, I don't really cry. <laughs> I'm not a crier. All right. Last meal you cooked. I don't really cook. <laughs> oh my no, God. I'm joking. <laughs> the last meal I cooked would have been something consisting of rice. And a carrot, onion, garlic. No, <laughs> yesterday I made scrambled eggs and avocado. There you go. There go. What was the last movie you watched? Uh, I was forced to watch The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo last night. What do you mean forced? You don't like I was that at film? my friend's house and she's one of those people, you know, and you're just like, I don't want to watch this. And she's like, no, it's great, it's great, go away, it's great. Well, you can't talk. No, no. she, you can talk, you but can. she won't listen to your pleads. And begs to please change the channel. She's just like, no, you love it. Well, you didn't like it. No. What was no. the American one? <laughs> yeah, the American That's one. The I've seen one. the other one and like that one. Oh. That's why I didn't want to watch this one. High five. Brown hands. For real. Because the original is a hundred times better. Yeah, way better. You got Netflix? Yeah. What you want? <laughs> I know some That's people. The best no, thing in some, the people like, what? some people be like, I'm on Amazon Prime. I'm on no, the no, no. What are you watching on? Those Netflix? are the same people that have Samsung phones. Not <laughs> <laughs> my kind of people. <laughs> what are you watching on Netflix? Um, I watch the same shit all the time because I put it as background noise when I'm sewing. Okay. So, but um, I don't know. Whatever my boyfriend's watching makes me watch Star Trek Voyager at night. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek, oh gosh. Yeah. What's your favourite outfit you've made? It has to be the TLC stuff, the bandana. I love that. It has it's to awesome. be. Okay. It has to be. It, it, has is. To be. it really is. I yeah. love it. It's awesome. 
I'm a genius. And there's two variations of it, right? There is. Two yeah. styles in case you're like not that out there. Yeah. And the whole tour. And then there's other bits and pieces. But I just think as soon as you see Paisley, it's like I think the way I design, design is with nostalgia. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I want you to look at something and be like, I know this, yeah. but it isn't literally what that memory or experience is. It just kind of makes you feel like how you do it. So when you look at a bandana thing, you're just like, shit, childhood, like, yeah. or even hair things, or do you know what I mean? Like a cultural thing as well. So I think it crosses borders. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite album you're listening to right now? Or single, or whatever. Who's your favorite artist? The song I've been playing every single day the last couple of weeks is "Sunflower" by Rex Orange County. Oh, fucking you know I love that song. That's my shit. I love stuff like, that, like Steve Lacy and like all the Odd Future and all that shit. That's it's where I live. It's like next gen N E R D and like yeah. Star Trek and all that. Yeah. It is a bit more about like. How, how do you make your stuff? Do you start from a piece of paper? Do you start from a piece of material? Do you start from clothing that already exists that you then piece together and make into something else? How's your like, process in your mind work? How do you lay it out? I think it's pretty backwards. Yeah. Like I don't start from a sort of a research yeah. and sampling yeah. <laughs> process. I'll get an idea and the idea like with the TLC stuff was the idea was to take the, you know how they used to wear boxes yeah. underneath the thing and I was like, I want to make that as a whole pant. And I thought, what can I make it out of? What do I like? And I wear, I always got some shit on my head and most of the time it's a bandana. And I just thought, what happens if I sew these bandanas together? And I just sort of made a rough pattern and put it on and I was like, yeah. da 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's like that, I have to see what it looks like yeah. okay. first. Like I can't sample in a different fabric or do computer design because yeah. I, I just hate it. Yeah, yeah, you can't I need see to it. physically see yeah. it and touch it and put it on. And just when I put it on is when I know it's perfect. Like a basic design for me. Yeah. Yeah. And if you like it, you like it, you buy it, buy it. Nice. But I wanna just make sure that I never got to have when I was younger. Yeah. And that's kind of how it goes. Or like I'll spend a lot of time watching something or taking in a certain thing or I'll notice a colour loads over a period of time. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. then it forms its own idea in my head and then I just have to make that thing. And, how did and you then learn? I work backwards from there. <laughs> How did you learn? Where, where did it come from? Like, who taught you to sew? Um, it kind of is in my blood. I've got tailors on both sides of the family. My granddad was a tailor, that was his profession. Okay. And my mum used to make me clothes when I was little, and my aunt sewed. And uh, I kind of just wanted to be in fashion. I didn't know how, but I, I can do stuff. I yeah. so I can be a bit creative. So I went to uni. And I learned the basics, you know, like business marketing and pattern cutting and design or whatever, but it was just like, what do you mean I'm supposed to be inspired by this book yeah. mm. that we're all looking at? Or what do you mean I need to know what I want to make next spring? Yeah. This yeah. Week, like All of them pressure is yeah. a nonsense thing. It makes it easier, like it's hard to turn around a collection in a week, but I fucking do it. So mm. when I've got more money and more people on the team, they can fucking do it too. Yeah. I just have to go with it, it's my name. <laughs> <laughs> That's the work of a creator, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's how it happens, really. Yeah, but that's what's exciting about it because it's not your generic. Yeah. It's not your average. It's not mm. just like I was saying earlier, another copy of something yeah. that already exists. It's more about having something that's completely unique. Which yeah. Is, you know, some originality. Like, yeah. and that's what it's about, isn't it? And obviously, I think it's cool because it shows your character through the style of clothes that you yeah. design and stuff like that as well. I think so. The it's good because it really grows cool. with me. <laughs> so like as I grow and my ideas and things change, it like comes with like take all these people on the journey with me. Yeah. I might lose people on the way, but I'll pick up other people anyway. Yeah. It's just, so it's the same goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm like, I'm not just a designer because in case that well dries up, I can go and do a DJ set or I'll like fucking host a radio show or some shit. Yeah. Go on Big Brother, I don't know. Uh -huh. Oh, that would be cool. Now can you imagine? I'd go insane. I need music or do you know what I mean? Go outside and just... <laughs> That's when my music career will start. So I'll be singing in the shower and then I'll get a producer call and then I'll be like, bitch, I heard you on TV. I'll be like, yeah, I gotta like that, let's do this. Who would you like to sing. work with? What, in anything? In that, yeah, yeah. Whatever. 
If it was music, obviously Pharrell, 100%. Yeah. Apparently he's nuts, yeah. but I feel like I could handle it. Or I'd give it a go. Or I'd puke because I'd be so nervous. <laughs> And like get the farts. And then just, <laughs> just be sick on the mic. Yeah, literally. And my voice would come out. <laughs> um, I would love, love to dress Rihanna. Absolute goal of mine. I just think she's just amazing. I just love the, the no fucks that she gives. Just mm -hmm. no fucks for any of you. Love that. But without being like negative yeah. and like using it against other people or talking shit about people, she's just like living their life. Love that. Other than that, uh, no one really. <laughs> Not that I'm like, oh, I'd love to do this. If stuff comes along and it's the right thing and it feels good at the time, yeah. and I back what the person's doing in their vision, then yeah, sweet. I'm happy to do that. Cool. Gotta be right though. Yeah. Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> Thank you for clapping. Woo!